Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Brick Lover 18 Ask You. So last week here on the show, I asked you to read an article that could be found on my website, bricklover18.com, and then give me feedback on who you thought was right, either the father or the son, and why. Like always, I got lots of great comments, and here are the top ones. Dominic Nelson says, I agree with the father. It doesn't sound like the kid was doing anything wrong. He just wanted to buy some Lego. Rioton12 said, I personally vote for none. Because last year I was 11, I was able to go to the Lego store with my own. So that is the store's fault. But it is also the parent's fault for not keeping an eye on his son. And finally, this comment by Brendan Wong. I agree with the father's point of view, because if he shops there regularly, then why didn't the store enforce that from the first visit? In my opinion, it's the store's fault for not letting the public know about this rule. I've been to so many Lego brand stores, and there are no signs stating this rule. Plus, it isn't Lego targeted towards children. This rule is ridiculous. As I said, the father wins this argument. And in my opinion, everyone was wrong. I feel this way because maybe it wasn't the best idea for the father to let his 11 year old son go into the Lego store alone to buy some Lego. Just at the odd chance he did make a huge mess maybe in the minifigure section or the pick a brick wall or maybe he you know ran around the store picking up Lego sets and putting them in the wrong places stuff like that. But based on the article the kid didn't do any of that so I also think the Lego store and the mall security was wrong for detaining the kid. Maybe a better solution to the problem would be A, not let your kid go alone to the store, or B, for mall security to have stayed with the kid while he finished his shopping and just not remove him from the store if he did nothing wrong. If he did do something wrong, like started crashing the store, you know, by all means it's not. It's mall security job to take the kid away, remove him from the situation. But if the kid was doing nothing wrong, I think that the situation could have been handled better. And to call the father a bad parent for not accompanying this child, I don't think that's right either. And this week's question is, what is your favorite Lego part? It can be old and discontinued, or it can be brand new and in every set now. Let me know down in the comments below. What is your favorite Lego part? As I said, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks everybody for watching another episode of Brick Lover 18 Asks You. If you want to get a shout out next month's update, you have to leave your comment below answering the question, what is your favorite Lego part? And if you want to see more Lego related content, please check out my YouTube channel, Brick Lover 18 and BrickLover18.com for all Lego all the time. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a great day.